Today's video is a little creative, I feel like. Sorry, the air conditioner is on, and I'm not sorry because it's hot as fuck. I put you in a different spot, like right in front of my freaking wheel, because if I would have put you there, this little thing would be right in your way. We are going to make a blanket ladder, and if I find the right material, I'm also going to try to make a blanket. Because I see on Pinterest and all those cute little websites, the little blanket ladders. I was like, you know what? That would be fucking sick to make. Plus, when me and my husband move, you know, like I said, we don't have furniture. Not that that's considered furniture, but like decorations. It would look cute, and I have a shit ton of fucking blankets, so. There's a Hobby Lobby, which I'm gonna check out for the um, fabric. I think they have fabric. My mom said that she thinks that they do, but I'm gonna check that out. And then I'm, there's a Starbucks, so they have that nitro cold brew with sweet cream, which is a one. Where I'm going, it's like a 20, 30 minute drive. But I want to listen to some tunes and I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'll hit you later. I just got my coffee. Nitro cold brew, sweet cream, one pump of, one pump of vanilla. Oh, this sh is fucking hitting every inch. And I forgot to mention that I am freaking going to Home Depot to get my wood for this ladder. So, about to go see how expensive this is. I'm swearing a lot this morning. I'm sorry. Cussing, swearing. Let's go. <laughs> crap from Home Depot. I got sandpaper, stain, I got um, like a gloss to go over it to like protect it and make it shiny and stuff like you see like you know coffee tables and stuff at. And then I got a paintbrush. It was like $31. And Hobby Lobby is closed which is really freaking annoying. So I'm gonna check out Walmart's fabric department, which is probably gonna be straight ass. We're gonna check that out. I'm really wanting like that um, kind of waffly type blanket. Highly find out Walmart is going to have that. <laughs> hotter than freaking butt cheeks out here today. I almost peed my pants in there. They didn't have like the waffle, which I figured they wouldn't, but they didn't really have much of a selection anyways. But I did find some like cute striped stretchy material that's a little thicker. I got one longer than the other so I can fold it and make that part thicker because I want to put them together. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to the pet store and then go home and then I will get back to you. Okay, so I'm home and I got my, I'm doing the blanket first. I have it all set out and I'm going to match it up, cut it, and everything, so. I have this blanket folded multiple times and it should be pretty even, but it's so long that it's hard to freaking get straight. Pretty much, I'm just gonna fast forward all this, but pretty much I'm just gonna cut the edges. Well, I'm gonna match them all up, cut the edges, and then tie them so they stay together. Tying them together. 
I just realized this is gonna take like nine hours. I got one side done. back. I may finish this tomorrow. I don't know though. So I'm about to stay in the wood so that I can do this later. <laughs> So I didn't even say it, but I got two six foot boards to make as like the long part of the ladder. And then I have four two foot things for the you know, hopefully they stain pretty good. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, restain them or whatever, because they may take a while. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Lighting in here is terrible, I'm sorry. I have all my boards and stuff in here to get building. I finished my blanket. Looks really cute. One side is like orange stripes, one side is like really stretchy black and white stripes. It turned out all right. I mean, probably not as good as a store could make, but that was like $10, so nine. And so I'm gonna get building. So right here are the two six foot boards that are going to be the long pieces. And then I have four of these which are going to be the like actual ladder. So what I'm going to do and I'm going to like fast forward it so that it's not like a super long boring video because we're not about that. I am going to take them and measure with this little thing my stepdad let me use. Measure like marks down and I'm going to glue them and tilt them so they're kind of at an angle and glue them and then I'm going to nail them together too so so I measured how far on the actual boards I wanted it to go down and I realized there is a lot of space at the bottom I'm probably gonna have to move those down yeah it'll be fine so now I'm going to measure the actual angle of how slanted I want it, want it to be the lighting in here literally sucks just fire me now I kind of like winged the slant, but once I'm putting it on there, I think I'll know. I have to file some of the smaller boards down because they're not all the same length. The freaking Home Depot guy screwed that up for me. It's not like too big of a difference. I could probably easily just like file it or whatever. It's like probably like that much. So not too bad. So I kind of said, screw it. I'm not going to file it. My boards are kind of bowed out anyways. So I feel like it'll work. 
So I'm going to glue them and then when, I'll probably glue it and then instantly turn around and nail it just so that because this glue isn't very, like it needs to be clamped, you know? other than what the hell it's like you can't really tell in here but like i mean <laughs> it's pretty crooked i don't know if i should try to fix it or just leave it but i'm gonna hang my blanket up on there and see what it looks like but oh my goodness i'm like really proud of myself okay, yeah so i hung the blanket i made on it and it really doesn't look that crooked so i think i'm just gonna leave it ah i could be a fucking carpenter <laughs> out it is so freaking cute yeah i know one was like insanely crooked but with the blankets on there you really can't tell and for my first time like staining something and like putting it together like with no help yes my stepdad like helped me sand and stuff but like it is freaking cute and i want to put it in mine and jordan's living room whenever we move and i plan on getting like all our furniture like that dark cherry look i can't believe it this wasn't very like informative it was more just like me showing you what i did and what it ended up but thank you so much for watching yeah it was so much fun to do this and so much fun to film i hope you liked it and you should go make one because it was kind of not that it was easy but like it was easier than i thought but some of the steps were a little difficult and having patience to let it dry overnight was annoying but yeah thank you peace bye